Not sure if he can respond or not. All right. This is Paul Catalina's Top 5 at 555. Brought to you by Slapsticks Comedy Club. I like the new color on the graphics there. Jack? What is is that a, a, a gray or is that a... Um, that's definitely a, a blue. Shade of yeah. blue. Yeah. That's definitely That's a blue. absolutely the Cowboys colors. Yeah. Because it's a Cowboys themed yeah. top five. All right. Top five Cowboys who can have breakout seasons. You're brilliant. Go ahead, Paul. I mean, you don't have to compliment him all the time. Uh, he's like getting him in a big he's, head. He, all you, he, he he's has gonna, to now because he has that. He's going to start demanding more than just pizza. He's going to be like, listen, I would like a filet mignon and a lobster tail, he can, or he, I will break the windows a, in this building. He better be on a Baylor <laughs> official visit to get <laughs> yeah. that. All right. Number five, Tyler Biotish, the center, uh, started – the lion's share of last year uh, looks like another year he could be potentially uh, ready to break out and lead that offensive line from the center position, drawing a lot of comparisons to uh, his Wisconsin center Cowboys counter uh, predecessor in uh, Travis Frederick. So uh, again, this they they drafted him in the third round last year, you know, thinking that they would you know, need a center to start soon. Joe Looney got hurt. Uh, Tyler Biotta stepped in and played. Pretty well. I mean, could have been better, but he was also in the midst of an offensive line that only had one starter on it that was uh, predicted for the year. So did he look better because everyone else around him was a mess? That's the question. That, that's a very good question. So, again, that's the question yeah. the Cowboys will have to answer is, did he look good because, you know, the tackles for a long time were Brandon Knight and Terrence Steele, yeah. and he was not getting knocked on hey, his ass? they've done a nice job. They, mm -hmm. They've done a nice job of um, – making decisions on offensive linemen. I mean, obviously, Zach Martin, Frederick, Tyron Smith, those were kind of given. Lyle Collins fell in their lap. They've been pretty good at that. But, you know, Connor Williams, eh. I think one of the problems with Connor Williams is he was around a bunch of great other, offense, or other great offensive linemen, so no matter what, he didn't look good. Well, and his rookie year was bad. No, it was. I mean, so and people always kind of judge you on the first thing they see. Was it Aaron Donald that shoved him back into a – Oh, Of course, yeah. he did that with everybody. Okay. Yeah. Uh, number four – Blake Jarwin. He got hurt last year. He got hurt last year, and look, he had just signed an extension. The Cowboys were excited about him. Mike McCarthy's offense has shown that you can uh, you know, use tight ends pretty well, and Dalton Schultz broke out a little bit last year, and, and Blake Jarwin was – you know, the better of the two going into the season. So uh, with, you know, I know there's a lot of receivers and a lot of balls going around, but as far, especially in the red zone, uh, look for Blake Jarwin because he and Dak had a really nice connection. Is he sneaky fast or is it Schultz? Oh, uh, no, he's sneaky fast. He kind of like, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. He's the, pretty the good. If, you, if you remember when the Cowboys signed him, they, they had to sign him to the active roster to keep him off the Eagles a few years ago uh, and how much they think about him. Number three, this one has been talked about a lot, Randy Gregory. First actual full offseason since his rookie season uh, and really flashed at the end of the year. So, and in a contract year, finally. So, the sky's the limit for Randy Gregory if he can keep his head on straight. Yeah, he, he might be at the top of the list. But, yeah. But, yeah. Well, the, these other two all, are kind of... All arrows point up for him. Yeah. The other two are kind of intriguing to me. Number two, Trayvon Diggs. Cowboys defensive back, a big defensive back from Alabama last year, had a couple of interceptions. Is Dan Quinn's defense going to help him flourish and grow? Because he had his picks and everything last year, but he also had the times of like, oh, look, Trayvon just got burnt like a piece of toast. So is Dan Quinn's defense going to help accentuate Trayvon's skill set, or uh, is he just a guy who's going to intercept the ball sometimes and other times just get burnt? Yep. yep. That, that's a big question for him. And number one. I know it may not seem like a breakout year because he had 900 yards receiving last year, but C.D. Lamb with a full offseason uh, and knowing NFL uh, routines and more time with Dak Prescott and an actual offseason in the offensive scheme and things they could do, uh, you know, I, <laughs> I, I think C.D. Lamb is going to have a huge, huge year for the Cowboys. Well, you better. Yeah, I mean they need. Yeah, I mean he he sure did look electrifying to me. He didn't look like he didn't. I know he had some drops on occasion, but he was better than I thought he would be as a rookie. He was dynamic, and that's a team that already has some pretty good wide receivers. Yeah, I'm just interested to see. Uh, I think all those guys are, are great candidates. Uh, you know, Randy Gregory might very well be number one just based on his backstory. If he does turn into a a pretty good player, you know, doing it on a consistent basis. 
Uh, but that would be for like the greatest comebacks or whatever, you know, the comeback type of a list. But you know, certainly, and then Ceedee Lamb. I'm just you know imagining how they're they're going to divvy up the catches. You know, how many of these three end up with a thousand yards, and uh, how are the touchdowns divvied up? Because man, Dak's going to have a lot of great options. That's for sure. Wow, that's if okay. So what if you took all five? Which two have to do? Have to be better. Uh, Randy Gregory and Trayvon Diggs. They can get by with the other ones not. You think would Diggs be a breakout? Yeah, I think he would because again he he, I mean he he was good last year, but he wasn't great. I mean he was good at times, but if you watch, I mean there's, you know, okay that Julio Jones, you know the Julio Jones drop touchdown. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean he had burnt on that play. Yeah. I mean yeah. like there were there were plays that he would have had a game where he got an interception early, and then, you know, two series later get run past like he, he didn't know the guy was there. Yep, so. yep, yep. Craig just showed me this. Think about you're a high school football